guys. Kicked off my shoes, dad sit in the rain. I know I look terrible. I just woke up, but ignore this. We're gonna get straight into this video. So, as you can see, my bed doesn't have a bed frame. It's been bugging me for the longest time because I just don't like the look of the plain white wall. Also, my bed is really, really big. Like, it's two meters times two. So, it's just like a giant square and then nothing is on top of it so it just kind of looks plain and I don't like it like that so I was trying to search for like a nice cute headboard but all of them were just you know too outside of my budget so I decided to try to make like a DIY one we're gonna see how it will go but yeah also this video is just like a part of my room transformation you haven't seen that yet it's gonna come out the next week but yeah if it's already out I'm gonna put the link in my bio so you can like watch it because yeah this is just like a separate project that i'm doing outside of it but in the room transformation you're gonna see a bunch of other projects that are related to my room so yeah if you're interested click the link in my bio but for now let's get into this okay so the first thing that i did was that i just measured the length of my bed or like the width i mean and then i also measured how long i want the headboard to be anyways because the headboard is gonna be curved i first want to make a pattern so that when i'm cutting my wood it would be exactly how i want it so what i'm doing now is that i took this giant piece of paper i have like a huge roll of it and i'm going to cut it and like draw the exact shape of the headboard onto the paper so yeah hopefully you get it let's do it <laughs> to go it was definitely a struggle to draw this out and it's definitely not perfect but we're gonna make it work and I also have this giant wood board which I'm gonna use as like the wooden piece to cut out my headboard from I know it's like white because actually this used to be like a wooden board on my wall that I used to hang up my pictures on this is how it looked before so yeah I just didn't want to buy a whole new piece of wood when I had this laying around so we're gonna recycle this into a beautiful headboard and yeah so let's do this I'm just gonna take my pattern and I'm gonna trace it onto the board right now well it's definitely traced on but it's not symmetrical whatsoever so I'm gonna like play around with it a little bit more and then we're going to cut it out we have it done hi <laughs> okay so i have the wooden board right here it's all clean and i also just got back from the store where i bought like some foam this foam is used to like isolate the warmth i don't know how to say it in english but like you put this foam into your walls when you're like building your house so that the warm stays inside yeah i don't know how to say that however i wanted to buy just some usual foam but that was really really pricey like i didn't know that that was that expensive and then i also wanted to buy bedding but i couldn't find any in the store so yeah i ended up buying this which honestly is pretty soft like i don't mind it and i think it will do the job so yeah, I'm gonna take it out of the bag and I'm gonna wrap the wooden board into this and then the last step is gonna be to cover it in the fabric but we're probably gonna do that some other day because I still don't have the fabric so yeah <laughs> really big problem. I thought this was like one giant roll of the foam but as you can see it's like a bunch of two meter by one meter rectangles 
Problem is that my bed is longer than two meters. So the headboard is longer than the freaking phones. So now I don't know what to do. Ugh. Hi, it's the next day. <laughs> As you know, I kind of panicked yesterday, but during the night and this morning, I kind of figured out a way that we could fix this. Basically, I'm gonna take two layers. See, like I have one, two, or three here. So I'm gonna take two layers of this like foam and I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna trace it onto the two layers and I'm gonna cut it exactly like the board is. And then we're gonna take two more layers and we're gonna kind of like cover it into it. I hope that it makes sense. It probably doesn't, but, but you're probably going to get it once I'm gonna be doing this. As you can see, I cut out the two layers from the foam and I put them onto the board and now I like matched it up as perfectly as possible. Again, it's not perfect, but it will do. And now I have my hot glue gun here. Basically, I'm just gonna always like lift up the layer, put like a little bit of a glue there and then stick it down. You know, just go little by little. And then we're also gonna do the second layer. And once that's done, we're gonna move on to the final part. But yeah, let's do that. <laughs> giant one piece so now what we're gonna do is that I'm just gonna again cut it like around the board but not like exactly how the board is but like 10 centimeters from it so like you know I'm gonna leave like this much around the whole board and then we're gonna take the foam and I'm going to cover it like I'm going to you know cover it into the foam and again I'm gonna use my hot glue to secure it down and then we're gonna be done for today. And once the fabric comes, we're just gonna wrap it into the fabric and we're gonna be done. So yeah, anyways, let's do this now. So as you can see, I kind of had to like cut it up because of the curve because it would like overflap. So yeah, I just cut it up to make it easier to glue down. Then I also made some cuts along the straight line just to make it as smooth as possible. And yeah, it's all done. Hey, my fabric came in today. Kind of anxious because I haven't seen the fabric yet. So I hope it will be the right shade. And I also hope that there will be enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys, oh my god. Wait, I need to give you... Wow. It's this pink velvet fabric. It's so beautiful. Look how it shimmers on the light. Okay, so I laid the fabric on the floor. It's perfectly smooth, so I really don't want to touch it now. We're basically going to do the same thing as we did with the foam but this time with the fabric and we're not gonna use glue this time but but these I don't know how to call these it's like thumbtacks I don't I don't know I would use a staple gun if I had it but I don't have one so I'm just gonna use this and hopefully that's just gonna work so yeah, anyways let's do it <laughs> And I 
broke one of the last four thumbtacks. So yeah, I'm just gonna glue it down using my hot glue gun as I did with the foam. Boom! It's all glued down, so let's try and put it on top of my bed. Oh. I'm so tired. Uh. <laughs> Hey, welcome to my new bed. <laughs> I know the video kind of like ended out of nowhere, but yeah, basically I didn't have time to like secure the headboard on there. So it's kind of like, see, it's still like pretty removable. It's not secured on there in any way. So I will probably just leave it like this for a while because I just don't have the time and energy to secure it down. But yeah, once I will have the energy for it, I will just like hang it up as a frame, just like a nail on a wall and then like a little loop to hang it on there. I don't know how to explain it. But other than that, I've been sleeping on this bed for like a week now and it's not fallen once. So I feel like I'm good. I don't know, I might be wrong. But yeah, I absolutely love how this turned out. It was really quick and very cheap as well. Like I thought that it might cost me more. The most expensive thing was the fabric. I think I paid $25 for like three meters times meter and a half. And it is a velvet fabric. So, you know, velvet is definitely more expensive than other kinds of fabrics. But then I think the second most favorite thing would be the wood, but because I use a recycled one, I didn't have to pay anything for it. So that was just like a huge, huge plus. And then for like the foam that I put inside of it, I paid $20 for 10 meters. So I have so much left over. And then I just used some hot glue and some thumbtacks, which I already had. So that was also a zero. So I think all together, this literally cost me like less than $50, like 45, I think. So yeah, as I said, it was super, super cheap. If you look up headboards, like fancy headboards on the internet, they go up so high, like in the price. It's so, yeah, it's very expensive. So this is very, very good if you wanna try it, very convenient. And yeah, as I said, this is like a part of a huge room transformation that I did. And that's gonna be the video that I will release after this video. So if the video is already out, you can go check it out here or here. And then also it's gonna be linked in the bio. So definitely make sure to check out the whole room transformation because we did a lot. I did a lot of work and I'm proud of it. So <laughs> yeah, please go make sure to check it out. Also, if you have a minute, go check my Instagram. I post daily outfit inspo on there. And then also if you have another minute, you can go check out my TikTok. Um, yeah, I just post silly videos in there. It's yeah, I don't know And then also if you're from Europe, you can go check out my vintage I sell so much of my old clothes that I need to get rid of and good quality It's super cheap. So make sure to check it out and that is it. That is it for me guys I will let you go enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye